Owner Surrender. Another Dragon. Not in very good shape. Um, actually, that looks a lot better. It was very high contrast, very dark, very stressed out. Um, seems to be moving quite a bit now. But, bone visible, bone definition. Definitely have a situation here. Now, if that's not parasites, my guess would be virus, viral. Wouldn't be able to tell without blood work, but that's not good at all. Concave belly. Uh, apparently, she's not been eating after... So this was what a pet smart pet smart animal I think she said. So definitely not a place to get your your bearded dragons pet smart because you might end up with something like this. The very first thing I'm gonna do is Pedialyte. Um, get a little bit of that. Put it in a tiny little, just so that I'm not infecting the entire bottle of Pedialyte. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just take some in this syringe here. I only need like a drop at a time, so it really doesn't matter. The first thing we need to try to do is hydrate this little little girl or guy. So we're going to try to get him to open the mouth. There we go. And very slowly. There you go, he's drinking it. He's definitely drinking it. Very slowly. Yes, yeah, see now he's calmed down and he's drinking it. He or she, I don't know. Alright, now I see this drinking has slowed down quite a bit. And he pulled away. He's done. Or she. She's done. See, that's that's how you do that. We're going to try to hydrate this animal best we can. Get him back to a, a good weight. Hopefully it's not viral, but we're starting with a worm treatment before we do the whole blood panel. Another thing I do is a very light iodine bath in warm water, warm to the touch. Doesn't seem to be uh, minding that so much. So this is just a quick little antiseptic for anything, you know, on the surface or, you know, any, they're absorbed, they absorb through their bums. So, you know, if they're shocky, he doesn't want to go in. He's definitely perking up a little bit. Um, and in case he needs to poop or she needs to poop a little bit. So we're going to get that uh, soaked up real nice. Give it a good 15 minutes or so, and then we'll go ahead with syringe feeding. Okay, so the next step, we got the soap done, um, and once I saw that he, she perked up, started trying to drink it, I'm going to go ahead and take her out. Alright, I've got some baby food here, just sweet potato and chicken. 
and I took some and put it in a separate container just to avoid the contamination, which is kind of silly because I just touched it with my gloves anyway. So we're going to do the same thing that we did with the Pedialyte. We're going to take that, hold them very gently, and just carefully, very carefully just kind of rub the mouth area until she opens her mouth. Come on. Just, just enough here. Come on. Before my camera runs out of battery. <laughs> Very stubborn little bugger here. Okay, so we got the mouth open now. I am giving her just a little cc she's taking it she's very all right that was a bit much so we managed to get one full milliliter one full milliliter of baby food sweet potato and chicken baby food sweet potato is very easy on the stomach as far as like vegetables and stuff go it's very easy on the stomach very easy for them to digest, so it's a good start to use that. Just got a little bit here. Now, one thing the owner had said was that she was not opening her eyes all the way, but it looks like she is. It might, I don't know if it, she just needed to soak or we'll see. Okay, so in the meantime, we're going to put her in this tub. This is a sterile environment. And with just, this is, this is actually medical table paper. Um, so it is, it's sterile, it's antibacterial, all that's antimicrobial, whatever. Um, sterile hides, nothing that's too porous except for this, because they seem to love these things when they're little. So all the little reptiles do for some reason. Nice little... Thing. So we're going to set her up like this for now. Um, we're not going to give her a water bowl because I want to intake, I want to monitor how much she is actually drinking. So we're going to offer her the Pedialyte with the water every day and see how that works. And for right now, we're going to go ahead and give this little girl some natural sunlight. So I'm going to take her outside in the same bin and um, I'll just sit out there with her for about an hour or two. Um, because that's pretty strong right now is the strongest time of day if you ever want to look up uh, when the UV index is strongest in your neighborhood uh, you can actually it'll tell you what time of day uh, the UV index would be the strongest and that would be the best time to bring your you know bearded dragons outside for natural sunlight, um, one hour, one to two hours of natural sunlight at its highest UV index or whatever is equivalent to like 12 hours of artificial UVB lighting. So definitely something if you can take them outside every day um, or at least every day that it's over, you know, 90 degrees, like it's probably about 95 right now outside. So I'm going to go ahead and um, bring her outside and we will see how well she does. So far she seems to be responding to being outside pretty well. Her eyes are open and she's turned around and her color's gotten darker just because she's outside and she's exposed so she's a little stressed out. Um, well maybe a lot stressed out <laughs> but she's definitely responding to it um, and moving around a lot more and, and standing up so so far so good and we'll keep you posted